Welcome back to Don's Life, welcome to the channel. Thanks for joining today. I'm very excited to start putting this Vivid Premium Joker Purple Wrap on my BMW M4. I know I had it narrowed down between a couple colors, but I felt that in all lighting conditions, the Joker Purple did look the best. I think it'll be a good match for the wheels that I run currently, as well as my summer wheels. I think it's a good choice, especially with all the carbon fiber on this car. So a couple things about this material that I'd like to point out. Again, it's made by Vivid, it's called Joker Purple. It does come with a protective cap. This is nice because as you're laying the vinyl onto various panels and you're using things like a squeegee, you don't want to unnecessarily scratch it. So this cap allows you to really work that vinyl into all the different areas without uh, scratching it because that cap's in place. There will be some areas though, such as tight areas like this, maybe areas where we need to work around the door handle, maybe you know other areas that are really tight. Uh, you'll want to take that cap off and then you have even more conformability with the film. A very important note with most, if not all of Vivid's uh, premium vinyl films is they have air release technology. So when you have tight areas like this, this is an area where I actually had a couple bubbles start to show up because your film needs to recess in here and come out. Sometimes it bridges a gap, makes an air bubble. You can usually just massage that bubble out. And as you can see, I don't have any. It looks uh, really, really good. And this film again, as I start to do all the panels and have it all come together, you're gonna notice not only the deep purple, but the red and the magenta and all that metallic flake in there looks really, really good. I think uh, the end result's gonna be great. But again, it's gonna take me many days um, because I have to fit it in around my full-time career. This is uh, YouTube and a hobby and I'm a DIY guy, so I think you know what I'm talking about. When you have hobbies, you fit them in around work, which is what this is. So I'm going to take care of this, share that experience with you and you get to see quite the color change. Let's go. Some tools that are a necessity when you're wrapping, what I like to do is I like to get a measuring actual tape like a tailor would have. I find that using a, a tape measure, they're, they're too rigid and they, they kind of get in the way. The nice thing about the backing on the vinyl is Everything is nice and uniform, so you can guide how long the cuts need to be. Now I can grab my wrap cutting blade here. I know it's between the V and the I. Come down here, line it up, and just go. We used cutting tape and we did a nice straight line here. This still gets covered with weather stripping, but I think it really finishes off nice. Anyway, I think we should get back to wrapping. We're gonna do the door next and this entire side. All right, things are coming along nicely. We got pretty much the whole side done. I was able to put all the trim back on, get things like the door handle finished. Look at the detail here. I feel I did a really good job on the door handles. Just a couple pieces to wrap that. We got the gas cap, everything's post heated. Looks smooth and silky. Anyway, we got to turn the car around and we'll get working on some more.
Here's the nice part about the protective cap. So when you're using your squeegee, you can really sweep against the surface and you're not going to scratch the vinyl. So we can lay down the big flat areas like that and we don't have to worry about scratches. But once we get into the more difficult areas, like around this lip, it's various shapes. We're gonna to wanna to peel the protective cap off. So we take the cap off, no more scratches. Application temperature is also important. It's a little bit chilly in my garage. The radiant heater is way over there. So I've got this little heater right here that's helping keep my work area uh, nice and warm. Here's a good example with the air release technology. So we got this bubble here. Instead of lifting the film up and pushing it out, I can just work the bubble smaller and smaller with a little pressure and it's gone. All right, we put some cutting tape or knifeless tape in here, which is gonna give us a nice clean line all the way up to the end there. Now, some people ask how to get this started. 99% of the time, this works best for me. Find a hard edge, put a lot of pressure on with one finger, hold onto this tightly and snap. And that will wreck the plastic, but it'll keep the filament cutting through. All right, we're almost done. I'm really, really excited. We got the front bumper almost done there. Lots and lots of inlays had to get used, but I had these carbon fiber pieces which cover some of the harder parts. So that was nice because the last time I wrapped this, I didn't have those carbon fiber trim pieces and all the rest of it was wrapped and it took a long, long time. So definitely get help if you ever do a wrap. I've been doing this one by myself. So it has taken me a long, long time because I have to heat with one hand, stretch the vinyl and work with it put the heat gun down, use my other hand to hold and lay the vinyl in. So if you have help, somebody even on the heat gun, then you can work with the vinyl and go a lot quicker. As you can see, we still have the hood to do. I'm going to leave this vinyl in place until I'm ready because I'm gonna put some cutting tape around here as a guide. So when I put the new Joker purple vinyl on, I'll be able to use that cutting line and get the same exact shape that I have right now and uh, we'll be very close to the end. Just put some carbon fiber trim pieces on, the side skirts, the front spoiler, the rear spoiler, and we'll be good to go. A tip for you though, is uh, these wheel wells, most wheel wells for that matter, a lot of people, including myself, used to make the mistake of I'd keep like an extra three quarters of an inch, maybe half inch of material, and I'd wrap it all the way around and I'd stick it. But I actually found I had some spots that failed doing that. You're much better off just making sure it's perfectly clean, wrapping the vinyl around just to the edge of the sheet metal or the aluminum, whatever you have here. So this only goes in about a quarter inch and then a nice clean cut. That's gonna hold up, I'm not worried at all. And pay very close attention to your corners that you don't have any extra material there where there's gonna get water or dirt in behind and it'll start to lift and fail. So right now it's all nice and tight. I, don't, I know for sure I'm not gonna have failure in these areas and I'm very, very happy. So let's uh, keep wrapping and get this finished up.
All right, we got the wrap done. She is ready to go. We have one piece not put on yet though, and that is the front lip that goes in the front. It's carbon fiber and it would get knocked off with the ice ruts that are outside in the snow. But it is a very cold day, but the sun's out, so we definitely have to check out the wrap. So let's do a bit of a montage. <laughs> All right, we're back with the M4. It's wrapped that Joker purple by Vivid. I think it looks really, really good. Some angles, you can see that magenta and that red come through. Uh, I think it looks really good. Definitely a big change from the Nardo gray and then the camel wrap that I have before. But my wife just let me know she's got a little surprise in store that's gonna finish this wrap off. So let's go check in and see what she's up to. Now we can say it's complete. Anyway, if you liked today's video, hit that like button. Please consider subscribing for more DIY content, more blogs, more automotive stuff in general. And we'll talk to you next time.